Pop figures. There he was, reigning supreme in 1964, number one, Herman's Hermits, and I'm into something good, and all of a sudden, he's gone and done it again. He's there for the fourth week running.
And there he was, Pop Vickers. He's done it for four weeks on the trot in Pick of the Pops. Take two, Stevie Wonder there at number one, and I just called to say I love you. <laughs> And the 15s, I'm crying at 64 from the animals. New at the streets, number 15, Tesla Girls from OMD. The 14s, she's not there in 64 from the zombies. New at the streets, number 14, Hammer the Fall from Queen. The 13s, everybody loves somebody. Sometime in 64 from Dean Martin. Down at the streets, number 13, is Agadu from Black Lace. Not off. And the 12s, together in 64 from TJ Proby. New at the streets, number 12, Y from Bronx TV. The 13s, the cry and game in 64 from Dave Ferry. Down at the streets, number 11, Madam Butterfly from Malcolm McLaren. The 10, the wedding in 64 from the lovely Julie Rogers. And up to the streets, number 10 is Master and Servant from Depeche Mode. And the 9s, as tears go by in 64 from Marianne Faithful. New at the streets, number 9, a letter to you from Shake and Steve is for 8. Have I the right? In 64 from the Honeycombs. And down at the streets, number 8 is Dr. Beat from Miami Sound Machine. And the number 7. 64, I won't forget you from Jim Reed. New at the streets, number 7 is Blue Jean from David Bowie. And the 6s. You really got me in 64 from the Kings. Down at the streets, number six, Big in Japan, Alphaville. The five, No Pretty Woman in 64 from Roy Orbison. Down at the streets, number five, is Kayla Crystal from George Michael. The four, is I wouldn't trade you for the world, Pop Vickers, in 64 from The Bachelors. Up to this week's number four, is Lost in Music from Sister Sledge. And the threes, Rag Doll in 64 from the Four Seasons. Up to this week's number three, is Pride from U2, the twos. Where did our love you in 64 from the Supremes? Playing at the week's number two is Ghostbusters from Ray Parker Jr. The ones, Hermes Hermes in 64, I'm into something good. Still at this week's number one, I just called to say I, uh... Or Stevie Loves You. Kenny next. Have a good weekend, ta -ra. Within the forest are handsome strangers lying in wait for innocents who stray from the path. Behind the smiles are silver tongues and clever lies waiting to trick you into open arms. Beneath the skin are ferocious beasts waiting to tear their way out to you. Once upon a time, fairy stories were horror stories. Angela Lansbury and David Warner star in Neil Jordan's The Company of Wolves. Certificate 18 at the Odeon Leicester Square now. This is Capital Radio, London stereo music station on 95.8 FM. The Midday News, this is Des Fahey. A senior cabinet minister and the Archbishop of Canterbury have been drawn into the row over a sermon on the coal strike by the new Bishop of Durham. The bishop called for the resignation of coal board chairman Ian McGregor and said the government shouldn't be allowed to inflict defeat on the miners. Ken Andrew reports. The organisers of a snooker tournament threatened by a pigeon are hoping that love will rid them of a potentially embarrassing problem. The pigeon is in the roof of the Newcastle Leisure Centre, where one of the world's richest snooker tournaments starts next week. Organisers are so worried that it might splatter one of the star players that they've threatened to shoot the bird if they can't catch it by Monday. But now Jameson Whiskey spokesman Paul Dawson says they've got a new trick up their sleeve. What we're trying to do is um, put a cage in the main hall with a female bird in it we think that the pigeon is a cock bird and we're hoping that um, this will attract the bird down from the roof and into the cage. Um, we were uh, rung up during the uh, night and told that this might be a possible solution, so we're going to try it. Independent Radio News. Hello. It's three minutes past twelve. Stand up when you say that, master. Uh, oh, you are standing. <laughs> You won't believe your ears productions in association with Oh God, it's so great I don't think I can take it presents Kenny Hello, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> How are you, darling audience? You all right? Yes, good. Right here comes the weather forecast. Just pure. Brighter than this morning. Sunny intervals and showers and 58 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the show that's helping police with their inquiries.
Screaming on my show. That's fixed him. Anyway, he's rich enough already. Hello, darlings. Six minutes after twelve o'clock, and contest number one coming right up. Jolly record, and who's it by? You ask ourselves. Well, it's by Stephanie Mills on Turntable ninety four. It's nine minutes after twelve o'clock, and that was for D Rec and Petal. Hi there, girls, on their way to Oxford in a motor car. Okay, let's get on with this. God damn it! Here's contest number one. All we ask you to do is give us a on the telephone and. Here's the number, and I'm only saying it once. Four eight four five two five five. 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 Now you can tell this film's been directed by Sylvester Stallone because you can't understand a word anyone's saying in it. But it's not him we're after; it's the title of the movie. Okay, here it comes. Do you know her? Just informally. Well, how'd you meet her? She was passing by before. I told her she was an okay dancer. Oh, that's incredible! You tell her she's an okay dancer. <laughs> Something to that effect. She's a great dancer. I can't believe you said that. Oh, what about the limo? Whose is it? I think it belongs to her. Everybody says that she comes from money. Really? Mm -hmm. Just what's her name? Is she like heavily involved with someone or what? I don't know. What do you mean by involved? You know, it's like she get a lot of guys hanging around, drooling over. You know. Look, if you're hot over somebody, I don't want to always hear about it. Well, we don't really have to go to the end of that clip because we've got a winner already, Terry Fry of Sutton. Hello, Terror. Hello, Ken. You've won before, haven't you, Terror? I've done it last week. You did. So your house is brimming with capital T-shirts. Yeah. 
Uh, did you get the one for last week? No, I ain't got it yet. Ooh, naughty old ass. Well, there'll be two arriving at the same time, probably. What would you like to say hello to anybody? Eh? I'll say hello to my wife and kids, everybody in the drawing office, and anybody else that knows me. Really? And what was the answer? It was staying alive. Staying alive, absolutely. Would you rather have a Kentucky Fried Nipple? Or how about a hard-boiled Ford Escort? Oh, yeah, I don't want them. Okay, it's on its way. Goodbye, Terror! Goodbye, Ken. And stay away from the phone next week. Ten past twelve. Darlings, get out your sport boat, you could be happy with this one. Don't understand a word your friends are saying, my dear. Don't be silly, darling, it's the boyfriend at the Albury Theatre, it's simply super. Next question. Where is the American Highland? In Antarctica. Where can anyone find the answers to questions in all fields of knowledge? In Encyclopedia Britannica. And where can you find out all about Encyclopedia Britannica? In a, a small book with colour illustrations. You'll have to tell me more. It shows the fantastic advantage. That's it. It's called the Britannica Advantage. And how can you get a free copy of the Britannica Advantage? Uh, use the Britannica coupon in your coupon bank booklet. Correct. And to find out how to qualify for a valuable free gift, tick the gold star in the coupon. If you're going to Malta, which is the logical airline to choose? Um, Put it another way. In 1984, which airline will fly to Malta more often than any other? Uh, A clue, then. Which airline flies to Malta from only £143 return? Yeah. Right, fine. Which is the only airline to offer you traditional Maltese hospitality? Uh, yes? Um, yes, Air Malta! Daily flights from Heathrow to Malta from £143 return. Um, oh, do shut up. Oh. My promotion's down the... If we don't get this package to Cairo. This is a job for DHL. With more offices in more countries and more experience than any other courier. For super sure, super fast delivery, call DHL. Those careers on the... If he can't get the spare part of Madrid. This is a job for DHL, the super courier. Call 01994643. That's 01994643. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? This is Capital Radio, 1548 motorcycles on the medium wave band. That is the nub and the gist of the whole brouhaha in a nutshell.
Last his fingers have gone mad. Paul McCartney and his new record. It's twenty minutes after twelve o'clock, and the weather outside is just stunning. It's cool, but it's beautifully, lovely blue all over the place, and fifty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. People are bouncing around the pavements. It's Captain Mark Phillips' birthday today. He's thirty-six. Yeah, well. <laughs> and Michael Faraday, inventor of the world's first dynamo, is dead. He died very, very long time ago, and his dynamo couldn't save him. 193 years old today. Right, what should we do now? And now it's time for a terribly accurate time check. It's 20 minutes and 37 seconds past 12. Write that down. Because you'll need it again tomorrow. And now,
What a strange record. We'll now leave a two-second gap while your radio collects itself. Mm -hmm. It's 25 minutes after 12 o'clock, and now something restful and devoon. Abbey Road's 15th birthday this very day, so we'll be playing a huge lump of that a little later on. It's almost half past as well, so time for contest number two, or diddle-um time. Now, this one isn't a clip from a famous film. It's a famous person from a famous film talking famously. Very distinguishable voice. Sounds like nobody else on Earth. In fact, this man is nobody else on Earth. I felt that, uh... I had gone a long way in uh, developing the character, playing the character, and finishing with the character, but that there was still a major contribution that I felt that I had to offer, which had been a kind of a frustration for many years, and that was to really be heavily involved in the making of a film. So I asked for the directing job, and uh, I was very pleasantly surprised. The idea went down very well. <laughs> It's just been out a couple of weeks. It's a really terrific film, and there's the star of it. Give us a call, 4845255. Answers after those. What's that you're reading, Fletcher? Some titillating trivia? That is just where you're wrong, Mr. Mackay. It's a book. Called it, sir. Don't read under my arm, would you mind? If you must know, it's all about a load of prisoners trying to naff off from Germany back to Blighty. Funny, I know a load of prisoners who'd like to do the exact opposite, come to think of it. You're not going to Germany, Fletcher. Or anywhere else. Listen, I can get to Germany a lot easier than you think. Not while I'm on the job. That would probably be the ideal time. That's right. 
No, you misconstrue my meaning, sir. You can nap off to Germany with British Airways for next to nothing now. The only trip you should make, Fletcher, is back to the library to swap cool dits for something decent, like crime and punishment. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm now, I could get something for you, couldn't I, sir? Like that Scottish classic, Look Mac in Anger. Or would you prefer Shakespeare's Taming of the Screw? See your travel agent. Book 14 days in advance, and with save affairs like £55 to Dusseldorf and Cologne, anyone can afford to fly to Germany with the world's favourite airline. And now, we zip off to Folkestone and say hello to David. Hello, David. Hello. You've just won a fortnight for two on the Circle Line for guessing the answer is... Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. That is correct. Would you like to say hello to anybody? Uh, just hello to my wife, who's at work in Dover, and they've got a few friends in London. Just hi, that's all. Good. Thank you, David. The prize is on the way. It is actually a T-shirt, but just because it's you, we've thrown in Godzilla's grandmother on toast. Yes, we've sifted, sorted, strained, and fiddled through the files for goodies. And did we find them? Yeah! In, In fact, fact, here's, here's one, one now. now. Nick Corshore and etc. It's not that we're short of 
interesting facts to bring you, but this coming Tuesday, Strauss's dad died. Um, he would have been 135. And all that. And now, I feel great fresh ideas stacking up like planes over Heathrow. But I just can't think of one at the moment. On the Everett Show, there'll be lots of fun for you and me. All these dug up from the library, all scrunched together into a bundle with all the boring bits taken out. And here they are. Keep those doggies rolling. <laughs> Fancy a rolling doggie? <laughs> You've come to the right place. Twenty minutes to one o'clock here on Capital, the greatest station in Euston Road. And now it's comedy time. Now a song is born. You know, Fred, you sure got a great wife. Where'd you find a great girl like her anyway? Oh, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Really? Yeah, just one of those crazy things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A trip to the moon on Gossamer Wings. Well, I'll be dying. Just one of those things. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, Dale, I sure like the sandwiches they have in this place. Fred, say that again. What's that? What you just said. I said I sure like the sandwiches they have in this place. Wow. Listen to this. I sure like the sandwiches they have in this place. Especially the kind with an open face. I sure like the sandwiches they have here. I bet they go good with a glass of beer. Waitress, waitress, a pencil and paper, please. Waitress. You've been listening to A Song is Born. The truth behind the Ernesto Barr composition, I sure like the sandwiches. You are about to enter a world unlike any you have ever seen before, where rock and roll is king. The only law is a loaded gun, where the beautiful, the brutal, and the brave all meet in streets of fire. From the creators of 48 Hours, Streets of Fire, where only the rock is real. In 70 millimeter at the Empire Lester Square, now rated 15. Nah, not really. But I couldn't half murder a pint at McEwen's export. No, man. What? Oh. 
McEwen's Export, the best buy in beer. Now have a rather important announcement, so here's an important fanfare. Sorry, we don't appear to have enough time to bring you that announcement. <laughs> so here it comes. Last night, a suitcase containing important medical records and notes was left on the 2106 train from Victoria to Bognor Regis. The doctor got off the train at East Croydon. If you were on the train and know anything about a small, brown, unattached suitcase, do give us a call. 388-1288. And we mean that from the bottom.
What a jolly wreck of the corgis. And love me uh, tonight, starting now. Nice cock. And now it's contest number two, three time. Here's a clip from a very, very big film. It's out at the moment, actually, and the title of the film is actually spoken by one of the people in this clip. So, a mega clue coming right up. 1954. You don't get years like that anymore. It was my favorite year. Look. Look at that Buick. See, that's what I'm talking about. In 1954, a Buick was a Buick. It didn't look like a Chevy, which looks like a Pontiac, which you can't tell apart from an old, like today. This is the way people dressed in 1954. Smooth, huh? In 1954, television was live, and comedy was king. Comic stars like Milton Berle, Sid Caesar, and Jackie Gleason kept America in front of their TV sets. I was the freshman writer on the comedy cavalcade starring Stan King Kaiser, Saturday nights at 8. There. There I am. That's me. There you go. There's the clip from a famous film. The title was in there somewhere. Have a little jiggle around in your brain, Phil. 484-5255, but ring soon. And now, the award-winning award of the week. This week's award is for courage and goes to Arthur Kleppman who, as a joke, strode right into the middle of a Green Bay Packers practice session and said to the entire 40-man team, You're all a bunch of chicken-livered old ladies. The award is being presented posthumously to Mrs. Clark. These words. The very next time your wife's look sad, don't settle for the wife you had. Go for a better kind of cream, kind of wife you've never seen. Extra Power Taz gives you cleaning power for a whiteness you just can't miss. A real razzle-dazzle white. Razzle-dazzle-dazzle means razzle-dazzle-white. Extra clean, extra white. That's razzle-dazzle-dazzle. Razzle-dazzle. That's what Daz has. Thank you, silver tongue swine. Seven minutes to one o'clock and on the telephone line... It's Laura. Of all the shots, hello, Laura, darling. Hello, Kenny. Would you like to say hello to anybody? Yes, hello, Daryl. Any more? No. Oh. Fantastic. Right, here we go with the answer from your own sweet lips. My favourite year? Absolutely. Who's the star of that for an extra one point? Peter O'Toole. Absolutely. And for ten extra points and a video of your favourite star on the loo, what is the next record we're going to play? Um... <laughs> Prince! Right! Rises in the next hour, Three Steps to Heaven, A Blind Date with the Pope of Your Choice, and a course of lessons at the Cyril Smith School of Hang Gliding. Mm, any of that appeals to you? Stand by your telephone, 4845255. The weather is not too bad, brighter than this morning, sunny intervals and showers, 58 degrees Fahrenheit in the outlook for tomorrow, a mixture of showers and sunny periods. If it's news you're after, stand by. From the depths of the earth, through the shrouded mist, it is coming. There is no place left to run, nowhere left to hide, and there is no escape. Mutant, mankind's deadliest threat, will not come from the skies. Mutant. Certificate 18 at a cinema near you now. This is Capital Radio, London stereo music station on 95.8 FM. The one o'clock news, this is Des Fahey. Liberal leader David Steele has hit out at union bosses who have promised cash support for the miners. Mr Steele told the final session of the Liberal Assembly in Bournemouth that it's inappropriate to give money to a union who organised yesterday's mass picket at Maltby in South Yorkshire. 6,000 armed men with weapons of no place in an industrial dispute. And yet the TUC have chosen this moment to back Mr. Scargill to the tune of £150,000 a week. Now, they should not be so spineless. Bill Sir sent Scargill away with a flea in his ear yesterday when he tried to suck the steel workers into his war. And the TUC should show the same courage 
and tell Mr. Scargill that he will not get a penny out of them until he stops organizing violence and condemns it instead. Independent Radio News. Sons and Daughters by Level 42. It's September the um, 22nd today, and it won't be the 22nd of September until this time next year. It's also the autumnal equinox, which is one of the only two days in the world when day and night are exactly the same length. Wasn't that fascinating? And now, at no extra cost to you, the viewer, we bring you a capital classic moment. Yes, History Time brings you information moments we have known and loved. Did you know that Strauss's dad died 135 years ago on this coming Tuesday? He didn't write such good stuff as his son, but we do have a histor hysterical recording of one of his great hits. Ladies and gentlemen, Strauss's dad. <laughs>
dear listeners, if you'd like this, taking off the radio, give us a ring. Thank you. Phew. You can also win a non-stick Yorkshire Terrier if you stand by. We're searching for the Charlie look and the Charlie style. Two competitions from Revlon, really worth your while. If you're looking good, you could be a model in Japan. Or win a 20s holiday, feel good, get a tan. And to everyone who enters, we'll give away a 20-pound voucher off a 20s holiday. Go to your Charlie County today. Thank you. 30, 40, 50. The October issue of Woman's World magazine is out now. It contains a questionnaire that will reveal just how sexually secure you are. But be warned, the questions may uncover things you never knew about yourself. Eighty, ninety, a hundred. The article takes a different look at the problems that go with squeaky bed springs. For those scoring under ninety, it offers hope, encouragement, a light at the end of the tunnel. For those at the other end of the scale, obviously you've got nothing to worry about. A hundred and thirty, a hundred and forty, a hundred and fifty. Uh, excuse me, do you come here often? Woman's world. It takes a different look at your world. Hello, I'd like to tell you about a super new film by the makers of Airplane. It's top secret, and it's all about... Fire! Next! Uh, hello, there's a super new film by the makers of Airplane. Top secret, and it's all about... Uh, next! Hi, super new film, makers of Airplane, top secret. Is that all you're going to say about it? Oh, yeah, look what happened to these two. Overacting, mate. Oh, well known for it. Oh, in that case, it's all about... Top Secret in the West End and all over London from Friday, September 28th, rated 15. Find a winning combination in Leo's Golden Number Game and you could win £20,000. You've cracked it anyway, with super low prices like 500 gram Kellogg's Corn Flakes, only 59p, and one pound bird's eye value peas, only 39p. Find these low prices and Leo's Golden Numbers at all Leo's stores today. There's more in store at Leo's. Low prices and a whole lot more. Tar. It's ten minutes after one. Yes, four eight four fifty two five five. Just seven digits separate you from the T-shirt of your dreams. Here comes a gentleman who's talking about the fact that it's not always nasty to be vile. He's a very famous French person, and he usually plays awful characters like blood-sucking monsterines. Here he is talking about his role in Octopussy. <gasps> There's a clue. Yes, but you see, I never... I have played uh, villains sometimes before. I never approach a villain as a villain, because a villain does not know that he is a villain. If he is immoral, he finds perfect, implacable justifications for what he does. And if he is amoral, then he is in the dark totally. Then, you see, when I did Dracula, for instance, I attempted to play Dracula in giving him not only making his villainy as attractive as I could, but also to play it in a sort of dedicated man who sincerely believed that he could give eternal life through blood on earth. Uh, thank you, my little variegated aubergine. Uh, Christine, are you on the telephone? I am. Hello, darling. I am. How's your fabulous body today? Oh, wonderful, darling. So is mine. Oh. Would you like us to have the answer, please, out of your fair lip? Louis Jordan. Louis Jordan. Very good. Would you like a prize, like, for instance, Godzilla's granny on toast? Or you can have three steps to heaven, or a narrow escape from a fate worse than death, or a t-shirt! Which would you like? I think I'll take a t-shirt. Okay, how about a record by Sardave? Ooh, quick, a book of cold water. And now... Today, much more stuff going on. <laughs> You probably think that this smoking campaign, the anti-smoking in buses and cabs and things, is a new thing. Well, did you know that this coming Thursday, it's the 80th anniversary for the first arrest. A woman in New York was done for smoking in the back of a car 80 years ago this Thursday. And here's a hysteric recording of it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, that's about it, really. He's the nub and the gist of the whole brouhaha in a nutshell. I <laughs> know. Uh, it's Abbey Road time. Yes, the last album they ever did together. Because Let It Be, they did in sort of separate chunks and then stuck the tape together later. Uh, this is the last album that they were actually all in the studio doing things together. 1969, 15 years ago, this very week, this... Oh, from the heart of our bottoms... It's your star forecasts for today. Aquarius. A surprise is in store when they announce that next year's Cannes Film Festival is to be held in the boot of your car. Pisces. You will score the winning goal in the 66 World Cup. Aries. The BBC will make a six-figure bid to turn your life into a mini-series starring Boy George. Taurus. Expect a surprise in your pay packet this week. Yes, more money, and a tin of asparagus tips. Gemini, a clerical error will lead to your being classified as an illegal immigrant, and you will be deported to Buenos Aires. Virgo, health matters need your attention this week, and you must make strenuous efforts to give up drinking meths. Libra, a change in routine will do wonders for your spirits. And you should give serious consideration to joining the Salvation Army. Scorpio, a big party is on the cards, but no one likes you, so you will not be invited. Sagittarius, there may be trouble at work, especially if you continue to smell like a pair of old socks. Capricorn, you will be the center of attention this week when Greta Garbo comes out of hiding and moves into your spare room. <laughs>
Still Joe Maroder and Phil Oakley. Cancer, you thought you'd been left out, didn't you? Well, you have. Leo, a crowd of people will gather around you this evening and accuse you of working for the KGB. You'll be shot at dawn, and good riddance. Oh, all right, Cancer. Here comes you. You should exercise special care in dealing with figures of authority this week. You should also change your underwear more often. Now a song is born. Fred, what's on your mind? You've been acting strangely for days. Sometimes I wonder why I spend a lonely night dreaming of a song. What do you mean? Well, the nightingale sings his fairy tale, and I am once again with you. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. But though I dream in vain, in my heart it will remain that stardust memory, the melody of love's refrain. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, let's get out of here. Fred, say that again. What's that? What? What? What you just said? I said, oh, let's get out of here. Listen to this. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's go right through that open door. There's a better world somewhere. Let's, let's not come, come back, back here anymore. anymore. Oh, let's get out of here. Let's, let's go, go right through that open, open door. door. Hi, sorry I'm late. What kept you? Oh, well, you see, last night I was telling Jane how my boss treats me more like a coffee machine than an audio secretary. And she said, if only you'd call Reed Employment. Apparently they got her that amazing job. Yeah, it still doesn't explain why you're late. Well, I popped into Reed straight after work. That was ages ago. Well, I know. I thought they'd only keep me half an hour, but it was great. I've never been to such a thorough interview. The questions they ask, not just the usual how fast can you type, but the kind of work I really want to do, where exactly I want to work, and or even the bus route I want to be on. Oh. And what's more, they've arranged one interview for me tomorrow and two the day after. Three interviews? Well, any of them sound interesting? Yeah, they all do. And the salaries are all far better than I'm getting now. Well, the drinks must be on you tonight, then. Oh, well, I haven't exactly got any of them yet. I mean, it might take another couple of days. Just tell Read Employment what you want from a permanent job. We'll help you get it. On July 9th, 1793, Charlotte Corday left her home in Normandy for Paris. She was neatly dressed, and considering she was on her way to kill one of the leaders of the French Revolution, very calm. Marat was an ugly but charismatic doctor. He suffered from a painful and disfiguring skin disease, and he practically lived in his bath. Even so, his disease made him so smelly, people refused to stand next to him. Charlotte knew where she'd find him. He was up to his waist in water, with an old dressing gown across his shoulders, and his head bound in a napkin soaked in vinegar to ease his persistent headaches. Charlotte took out her knife and stabbed him through the heart. In the year of terror... If your interest in people goes beyond the gossip column... If you're interested in the world beyond the edge of the makeup mirror, if you're interested in reading more than just recipes, then we think you'll find She a more interesting magazine. She Magazine, October issue, out now, 65p. Thank you, madam. Well, I've been zipping through the telly pages this afternoon, and there isn't a film worthy of note. So let's skip over that, stick to the radio today, and how about a little contest? Here's a truly horrifying film. I've seen all of these, and they... Ooh, it's jumping out your skin time. Especially with this one. Here we go. What's the title? I don't want to scare anyone. I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. And if you listen to the old timers in town, they'll tell you he's still out there. Some folks claim they've even seen him. Right in this area. The girl who survived that night at Camp Blood. She claims she saw him. Boy. Is he dead too? We didn't find any boy. Then he's still there. Disappeared two months later. Hello, Paula. Hello, Kelly. Did you see that naughty film? Yes, I did. Did you, did you jump out of your skin, too? I was terrified. Mm, I jumped out of your skin. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Paula's going to give us the answer. 
Friday the 13th. Absolute remand. Want to say hello to everybody? Yes, all the girls at Kingston Telephone Exchange. Oh, hello, girls. And when is System X coming? That's what I want to know. And do you like Rick Springfield? Very much. Yes. Oh, good. Well, this is for you. Worthy to be on the same planet as him. I am but a speck of cosmic dirt <laughs> compared to his wonderful nephew. <laughs> so happy birthday, Eric and Jane, and may you always. In fact, you already have. It's Saturday, 22nd of September, and this is the show with knobs on. The show with knobs on. The first transatlantic phone service opened only 28 years ago. Isn't that strange? And already we're doing coloured things across the Atlantic after only 28 years of actually doing the first words. Barnes Wallace is 97, he invented the Bainsing Balm, and George Gershwin is 86, and here's one of his greatest hits.
Malcolm McLaren's thought of taking that one on next. It's almost 15 minutes to two, and right after the break, we'll be back with a clip from a famous sweet old movie, not one of your hack rip ones. He's a prince among thieves, the king of the con men. He can crack a safe and unlock a woman's bedroom door in the wink of an eye. He's facing his toughest challenge, to steal a fortune in jewels from the most dangerous woman he's ever encountered. He's Lassiter. Being robbed by him is the most exciting experience you'll ever have. The Magnum Man is on the big screen. Tom Selleck is Lassiter. He takes liberties and a whole lot more. Lassiter, Certificate 18, Leicester Square Theatre and all over London now. What's that you're reading, Fletcher? Some titillating trivia? That is just where you're wrong, Mr. Mackay. It's a book. Called it, sir. Don't read under my arm, would you mind? If you must know, it's all about a load of prisoners trying to naff off from Germany back to Blighty. Funny, I know a load of prisoners who'd like to do the exact opposite, come to think of it. You're not going to Germany, Fletcher, or anywhere else. Listen, I can get to Germany a lot easier than you think. Not while I'm on the job. That would probably be the ideal time. That's right. No, you misconstrue my meaning, sir. You can naff off to Germany with British Airways for next to nothing now. The only trip you should make, Fletcher, is back to the library to swap cool dits for something decent, like crime and punishment. Oh, yeah. And while I'm there, I could get something for you, couldn't I, sir? Like that Scottish classic, Look Mac in Anger. Or would you prefer Shakespeare's Taming of the Screw? See your travel agent. Book 14 days in advance, and with save fares like £55 to Dusseldorf and Cologne, anyone can afford to fly to Germany with the world's favourite airline. What makes British advertisements so successful? They're extremely nutty. Come and discuss how we use our talent to sell things at the Hilton on September the 27th and 28th. With speakers from ICI, Unilever, Chayette Day, BMP and Spencer Stewart, the headhunters. Don't tempt me, Eric. Don't tempt me. Ring 01637-7438 to book your place at the Advertising Association Conference. Four-sprung dork technic, as they say. Are you ready? Yeah! So am I. Here we go. A famous clip from a terribly famous cartoon of many years ago. Still doing the rounds, though, and probably always will. It's for you, darling. Merry Christmas. Oh, Jim, dear. It's the one I was admiring, isn't it? Trimmed with ribbons? <laughs> well, it has a ribbon. Oh, how sweet. You like her, darling? Oh, I love her. What a perfectly beautiful little lady. Oh, and that sweet and poochy good old... Uh, little clue there with the last word of that clip. If you know the answer, call us now. 484-5255 and a prize will be yours. I can't, I can't let you go. I can't, I can't let you go.
And now Dave from Berkshire is going to back announce that record. Off you go, Dave. Uh, Lady and Tramp. No, that was the title of the film, you nit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Never mind, you've just won the sleeves of a T-shirt. Oh, right, well, that do. No, okay. Uh, Ten minutes to two, want to say hello to anybody? Uh, everybody at Wokenham Post Office, please. Okay, uh, and now, by the miracle of recorded sound, we take you back to the year 1216 in an attempt to make history live again. Stop! Oh, no, Robin Hood. That's right, my dear Duke of Cornwall. Now hand me that box of gold or my arrow shall find its way into your black heart. Here, don't kill me, Robin Hood. Aha! And once more, Robin Hood robs from the rich. My entire fortune, gone. I'm destitute. You mean you're broke? Completely. Well, listen, take this box of gold. I give all I steal to the poor. Oh, thank you, Robin Hood. Now, hand me that box of gold. Okay, here. But I'm poor again. Then here it is right back. And back to you. Take it back. Thank you. Now, give me it again. And back to you. Now, give me it again. Let's have a little breaky Let's have a little breaky poo. We'll be back in just a sec. What's in it for you this week tells how a key fit fanatic picked up a sports car with just one finger. But first, over to the tail of the postman who snapped up a Doberman from a pack of pedigrees. Harry, how did you manage to get your teeth into the Doberman? Get down, get down. Well, I just opened my mouth and asked for exchange and marked. It's full of pedigrees, every breed you can think of. And <laughs> when I found this Doberman at the right price, well, I just snapped it up. <laughs> Lovely dog. Please, Take please, one get down, shine get to you. Down, get down. Thanks, Harry. So, here are the main points again. Whatever you're interested in, don't bark up the Wrong tree. By Exchange and Mart this week and find out what's in it for you. Harry, will you control your dog, please? Exchange and Mart. I think it's a national disgrace the way these HSA people can break a mother's heart. I gave our channel the Grimshaw family pram for my granddaughter Dawn. It's been a family heirloom for generations. No thanks, Mum, she says. HSA health insurance coughed up with £160 maternity benefit, so I'm buying a new one with a built-in video and computer. Then her Frank, in with a PhD in draft bitter, he pipes up about not wanting to push the Grimshaw chieftain tank. He'd rather pay his £1 a week insurance to the... HSA. For details of health insurance that works for working people, dial 100 today and ask for free phone HSA. Hello, I'd like to tell you about a super new film by the makers of Airplane. It's top secret and it's all about... Next! Uh, hello, there's a super new film by the makers of Airplane. Top secret and it's all about... Next! Hi, super new film, makers of Airplane, top secret. Is that all you're going to say about it? Well, yeah, look what happened to these two. Overacting, mate. Oh, well known for it. Oh, in that case, it's all about... Top Secret in the West End and all over London from Friday, September 28th. Rated 15. Tar. Well, next time you're making a transatlantic call, just thank your lucky stars that you're above the age of 28, because if you were younger than that, you wouldn't have been able to do so. 28 years ago, the transatlantic cable was open and inaugurated. And here's a historic recording of the first call.
Vicky Benson on Bronze Records. Played that last week and millions of people wrote in and said, Golly gee, where can we get that? We can get it in record shops, of course, you prunes. And now it's goodbye time. Little Nicky Nacky Noo is in the other studio just across there behind several layers of protective glass, which is where he jolly well ought to be. He's got loads of fab records all lined up, ready to play to you and make your afternoon into a piffing jamboree. Do you know Bridget Bardo's 50 this Friday? Poor old thing. Mickey Rooney is 62. He's the only guy that's married more times than Henry VIII. He's been married eight times, little Mickey Rooney. And tomorrow is the autumnal equinox. And Thursday is the birthday of Barnes Wallace. He invented the bouncing bomb. Congratulations to our prize winners. Have a lovely week. See you this time next week. Goodbye. This commercial is issued by Kleinwart Benson Limited on behalf of Her Majesty's Government. On April the 12th this year, an Act of Parliament made it possible for everyone who wants to, to apply for shares in British Telecom. Before shares go on sale to the public in November, a prospectus will be published, which will answer many of the questions you may want to ask. Reserve a copy now, and you will also receive details about British Telecom and share ownership. Send off the coupon in your newspaper or phone 0 272 272 272 now. Here's some really great news from British Rail for all us <coughs> under 24s and students. We can get £5 off a rail journey in November if we buy our young person's rail card before the end of October. So, get this special leaflet and apply for your £5 bonus now because this is the age of the train. Hmm, I wonder if Alan Freeman knows about this. Our Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name's Arthur. Listen, I hear you want some high-class double glazing. Too late, Arthur. Anglian have beaten you to it. Anglian? Now, what have they got what Arthur's windows ain't? I'll tell you. They've got a bigger choice, higher quality, and with everything still at 1982 prices, better value. They've got 129 showrooms, and their 10-year warranty is twice that of many companies. Duh. Anglian don't do things by Arthur's. That's why we're one of Britain's largest replacement window companies. Ring 01301 0900 during office hours for a free quotation. This is Capital Radio, London stereo music station on 95.8 FM. The two o'clock news, this is Des Fahey. Liberal leader David Steele has called on Miners' Union President Arthur Scargill to stop organising violence. Mr Steele told the closing session of the Liberal Assembly in Bournemouth that trades unions should not give money to the union which organised yesterday's 6,000-strong picket at Maltby in South Yorkshire. Meanwhile, Mr Scargill has welcomed last night's speech by the new Bishop of Durham, David Jenkins. The controversial bishop used his enthronement to deliver a strong message of support for the embattled miners. And Mr Scargill says Dr Jenkins is only voicing the feelings of a growing number of people. As far as I'm concerned, anybody that backs the right to work and the right for our sons and daughters to work uh, deserves to be supported. And I believe that the Bishop of Durham, in saying that the miners must not be defeated, is echoing the sentiments and the thoughts of many thousands of British people. There's a growing recognition that our fight to work, our fight to retain our pits and communities is one of the most honourable concepts ever undertaken by a trade union. A group of anti-nuclear protesters has swarmed over Nelson's flagship HMS Victory in Portsmouth Harbour in a demonstration against cruise missiles. As Penny Guy reports, two of the campaigners shinned up the ship's main mast and hoisted a flag bearing a slogan against war. Eleven banned the bomb protesters posed as tourists to get into the naval base and once on board HMS Victory they hung banners over the side of the ship. The banners read keep sea launch cruise missiles out and no victory to nuclear war. Two demonstrators climbed to the top of the mast but Ministry of Defence Police have now moved in and made a number of arrests. Penny Guy, IRN, Portsmouth.
Thousands of Second World War veterans have come together again at Arnhem in Holland to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the famous airdrop and battle. Jonathan Browder reports. More than 3,000 veterans of the 1st Airborne Division, many of whom will not have seen each other for the last 40 years, are here on this windy Dutch plane this lunchtime to watch the 10th Parachute Battalion make its commemorative drop on Arnhem. These men, survivors of the ill-fated Bridge Too Far operation against the Germans in 1944, have come together from Britain, Australia, New Zealand and the United States and Poland. Over the next three days they can take a real pride in their heroic past, as they did last night when Prince Bernhardt, once the leader of the Dutch resistance, was presented with a sword of honour to commemorate his part in the fight against Hitler's forces. Take a pride indeed as they did this morning, when they marched in silent procession towards the Air Force Monument in Arnhem, where they laid their wreaths to those who died for the freedom of Europe on the plains of Holland. Jonathan Browder, IRN, Arnhem. Radio Tehran has stopped its normal programming to broadcast an air raid alert. The Tehran announcer said Iranian forces were fighting the Iraqis on land, sea and in the air. Iranian citizens were asked to keep away from military installations and the radio began broadcasting military music and long speeches by Ayatollah Khomeini. The Iraqis say their planes have attacked a petrochemical complex in southern Iran, but this doesn't explain the apparent alarm in Tehran. Independent Radio News. It's three minutes past two, and many thanks to Kenny Everett, who is suffering from a bit of laryngitis today, so we wish him well. I just thought he sounded more butch than normal. It's an old radio joke, I know, Ev. Um, some weather now, and uh, it's not too bad outside Euston Tower, but there are going to be some showers around this afternoon, along with some sunny periods. Today's high about 14 centigrade. Tonight's going to be dry, clear, and cool. Tonight's low about 9 centigrade. That's in the centre of town, but going down to a very cold 6 centigrade in the suburbs. And Sunday's not looking too good. It's going to be a day of blustery showers. It will feel colder as well with very strong winds. Good afternoon. This is Nicky Horn. Yeah,